Hey there guys and girls, yes, we are back. It's bloody cold because we're two days away from the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. Uh, but that's that's okay, that means we're gonna start swinging back to the warmer weather again. Yay! Uh, actually, no. I hate hot weather. Mm. Anyway, we are back. Yes, we're back on the Corona wagon. But before we get into that, um, I bought myself a new GoPro selfie stick, not the one I'm using right now, it's coming in the mail. It has a benefit of the handle that you hold on to, uh, folds out into legs, so you can use it as a tripod. And what that means is, um, when, I, uh, when I'm doing my videos, I can do a little bit more in depth, because it's not going to take up time swapping from uh, selfie stick to tripod, yada yada yada. So I'll just I'll be able to use it as both. So yeah, be able to move you around a lot easier. Before we get into that, 240Z is coming along. Just quick mention of that. Got the oil pump in now. Distributors almost in, not quite. I've still got to put the bottom uh, adapter in yet. Got to change the flywheel because the timing marks are in the wrong spot for the marker so I'm not sure what the go is there but uh, I've, I've got another flywheel to put on it um, yeah I've got to put the wiring in clutch and brakes and then interior so yeah it's getting there I need a radiator I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a Chinese alloy one or what but uh, I'll sort that out when I come to it so that's that. I really want to get the 180B going because I decided I'm going to use it as a daily for a while as well because oh, show you what's going on up here quickly. The patrol, we've been out camping. I've started to build a canopy for it. As you can see, got the rooftop tent up there already. I've got to do another rear hoop at the front here. That's just temporary. I've got another gonna do another hoop here and another hoop here so then I can start closing the canopy in and turn it into a proper camping rig I have certainly got the bug for exploring our fine country and speaking of that I have started another channel and I'm gonna put the link down below uh, it is called Off-Road Rooftop Adventures, hence the rooftop tent. So yeah, we've got one video up already. We went to Mount Remarkable up in the Southern Flinders Ranges, Devil's Peak and Alligator Gorge. And it was an awesome weekend. I loved it. And I want to get out there and do some more. But yeah. Corona wagon started work on it already fixing up this mess as you know from the last Corona video I made a swan so that's got to get welded in but not yet I've got to fix this mess up here first I've already cut out this part here which belongs where's it go there there like that Okay, I've cut it out, but I've got to make the new bit yet. I tried to get it out in one piece, but this bottom part broke off, and then I had to weld, very gingerly, weld it back together so I can make a, uh, a template, a masking tape template. But yeah, that's got to go there. Once that's made, then I'll cut this bit out. And um, yeah. Do the same thing so yeah on to that guys when my tripod comes oh uh, yeah as I said I'll be able to um, actually record myself doing these processes so next video maybe we'll see see if it gets here by then anyway I'm gonna get into work I'll report back it's shortly so there we go guys She's in. I've just got the plug in so I don't lose it. It's got to be taken out again when I weld the, the swan on. 
but uh, yeah, she's all in shape. Oh, gotta grind those welds off yet, but uh, I'm not getting real fussy with grinding these welds down because you're never gonna see it and it's just a waste of time. So yeah, I've got to treat it up in there yet, paint it all up before the other panel gets welded on. But uh, hang on, it goes over there like that. And uh, and uh, Anita's your auntie. So yeah, right. Um, just gonna spin the rotisserie back a little bit so I can uh, fix this little bit up here and then um, yeah I will get into welding that panel back on and then I've got to spin it over and do the other side yeah once that side's done it's just this bit back here and that's 99.95% of the rust done I only say that because we've got to get the underside blasted yet and don't know what we're going to find when when the sandblast has been done with it so anyway right I'm going to get into it we've got 45 minutes left of the day so uh, yeah I'm going to see what I can get done in that amount of time so yeah if not, I'll see you in the morning. Yes, I'm back. I've got it. Uh, sp I've got it uh, turned over a bit so I can have a closer look at this. I've got it all cleaned up now, so I've just got to do the usual: make a masking tape template, transfer it to tin, and then shape it up so it fits in there. So I'm gonna do that right. Okay, it's knockoff time, but I did manage to get that made. So in the morning I'll come out and uh, yeah, I'll get that in there and then we can move forward. Yeah. Morning it is Wednesday and yes, I have a pretty blue jacket. I got really sick of um, this cold weather and I can't weld with my freezer jacket there can't weld with that on because it get holes all through it so I went out and bought myself a welding jacket now I need some blue suede shoes to go with it yeah yeah anyway um, I welded that bit in yeah so next step I'm gonna treat up all this metal coat it with some epoxy stuff and um, start welding in the swan so yeah it really is chilly you can tell it's um, one day away from winter solstice because it's getting cold anyway enough of that into the work it's so cold so cold but I got this tack welded in I'll tack welded it in with the MIG, but I'm going to swap over to TIG now and uh, finish it off. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to roll the car back over again so I can get it both sides because I um, need to do a bit of plenishing as I go. Yeah. Got the spot uh, plug welds already welded up, so. The blue just reflects off everything. <laughs> yeah. I put the plug welds on the wrong side, so I've got to weld them from underneath. Probably can't see that. But uh, I'll do that when I roll it over the other side to fix that side. Because uh, you can get it easier, as you can see. It's uh, about an hour away from knockoff time, and I can't wait because it's so cold it's like uh, I think it's like 11 degrees which is very cold okay it's knockoff time but I've got that much welded in welds always look crap on film far worse than well it looks pretty crap as it is but 
yeah that's all TIG welded and it's pretty flat I haven't even um, got around to plenishing it yet so yeah I'm pretty happy with that this part up here is going to be a bit of a challenge because I'm not going to be able to get behind it but I'll sort it don't you worry it's looking looking pretty good I'm happy so I'm going to knock off go inside where it's warm I was going to come out and do some more on a 240Z tonight but I've worked on it the last couple of nights it's going to have a night off I think so yeah hats off and uh, see you in the morning guys hello it's your local weatherman yes it's Thursday morning and it's another miserable day coming up so yeah great day to work on a Corona so we got this done last night and we just got to work up over the top I'm trying to keep this as flat as possible as I go so yeah I'm just gonna do it can't wait for the weekend and the worst you know the worst part about welding in cold weather it's having to hold your breath while your visor's down so you don't fog up the inside of your helmet you need to uh, get some of that rain x or whatever it is to try and combat that see if that works hmm. Righto guys, that's all welded in. As you can see, this part here looks much better than this part up here. That's because I could get behind that and plenish it. Can't do that up here. I mean, I could spend a, a day or two flattening that right out with the um, Eagle 2 dent puller there. But, uh, yeah, it's not in the budget. So that's plenty flat enough for a bit of body filler skimming. So that's what we're going to do. This is why I like to take panels off, but again, that's not in the budget. You can take the panels off, you can get them out nice and flat. I could even get that flatter than that because it's a little bit difficult to get at as it is. But uh, yeah, that's done. There's a tiny dent up here too. I pulled out while I was at it. But um, now we're going to go to the other side because the other side's the same. Hoping it's not as bad, I can't remember because it's been a while since I looked at it. Hoping I don't have to do it up here as well. So yeah, we're going to um, roll it over so I can lift the other side up like this. Put this door back on for a counterweight first. So yeah, into that. Remember how I said I hope the other side doesn't look as bad? Yeah, she's worse. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to hit that with a wire wheel and see what comes out. Okay, let's talk about it. So, yeah, it's a little bit worse, but it's not going to take any longer to fix than the other side. What I was hoping that it was going to be not as bad like none of this up here. So it didn't take as long to fix. Um like the repair area is the same size there's just more holes in it um so yeah i've knocked this dent out a bit just so it makes it easier to make the uh the uh, masking tape template so um that's enough talking about it i'm gonna get into it i'm gonna make another swan guys Okay, check it out guys, check it out. Bad for a couple of hours work. And that goes there. Just like that. Fits absolutely perfectly. Just gotta weld those reliefs up later on it's just too much of a, a curve to fit in my shrinker stretcher so you do it that way it works if 
Man, bloody tastic. So I've got to make the neck of this one. I'll do that in the morning because it's just about knockoff time. But yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks great. Happy Friday to you all. Oh, yes, it's Friday. I was out in the shed last night till about oh, 9 30, 10 o'clock. I was um, pulling my alternator apart for the 240Z. I went through all my old alternators. Sorry for the mess. Yes, I did make a mess doing it. But as you can see, it's hollow because I pulled it apart so I could sandblast the outside because it did look like that. Gonna paint it up though before I put it back together. I've already done the um, the fan thing and the pulley. Didn't paint the inside of the pulley obviously because uh, it's gonna get ripped off with the belts anyway. But that's ready to paint, so might do that over the weekend because I've got a couple other things I need to paint at the same time: brake booster and battery tray. Yeah, anyway, that's not why we're here. We're on the Corona again. It's Friday morning, last day of the week. And I've already started, as you saw when I signed off last night, I made that part. Making a tape template for the, the neck of the swan. Now I've decided to go a bit more streamlined with this one because last time I came straight down and across and uh, that created a bit of um, warpage tension in, in the sharp angle. I should have known better, that's a rookie error. So I've smoothed this one out. And uh, yeah, well I've got to pull this tape off anyway and, and cut this bit, bit of metal out and shape it up. Shape it up, shape it up. Ugh, don't do that, old Tay Tay. Anyway, off to work I go. There we go, it's a wheel arch section. And the key is, when you're making panels, you want them to just fall on with no, um, with no stress or tension because uh, if you've got stress or tension in it when you're welding, it's going to come out and bite you in the ass. But uh, yeah, that's that. So now I'm going to join these two together and we'll see how it fits again. Just got a little bit of adjustment here. It needs to go down a bit. I can sort that out. Hey guys, I'm not going to get as much done on the Corona as I thought today. I've been to lunch and back, but uh, I got a phone call at lunch saying that the uh, Falcon Coupe is ready to pick up from the Sandblaster, so I had to run out and do that. I might get an hour or so at the end of the day, but I'm organising the Falcon Coupe in the shed and putting some epoxy over the engine bay so it doesn't rust because it's just been sandblasted. But remember at the start of the video, I said I've got a new selfie stick. Look at this. Hang on, let me see if I can set you up here. See, this is why I wanted it in the first place. I don't know whether you can see that, but look at this. Now it's a tripod, and then it also extends. So close it up it's back into a selfie stick again and it's longer so I can go Ooh. yeah anyway that's exciting because I can um, it's gonna make it so much easier to um, do videos because I can just fold it up turn it into a selfie stick and then I can turn it back into a tripod so you can see more of what I do because it's gonna not gonna take as much time to swap the GoPro from tripod to selfie stick anyway and i've got another battery so yeah i'll be back shortly i just gotta go put a coat of paint over an engine bay well that's the job done i've got a bit of paint on me but um yeah 
it's done. So I've got two hours left of the day. Get back onto the Rona. Sort out this this here. We'll finish welding that. So I'm gonna do that. Alright, as you can see, I've already started welding it. As you do these little um, tack welds, it's going to shrink the metal together and it's going to start overlapping. So what you've got to do to combat that is, um, yeah, hit it with a hammer with a dolly on the other side to stretch the metal out again. Gonna get a flatter dolly. That'll about do it. Have a plenish. Right next to me. Might turn it over and do it on the flat bench. Now I've got plenty of gap. This is why this job is so time consuming. You've got to get this spot on. See, I did that wrong. I pulled away straight away. You're meant to supposed to hold it there and let the gas shield it until, it, uh, until the, um, the glow goes away. Wasn't thinking. Okay, now she's tack welded the whole way along. I'm just going to clean that up again. Um, just quickly with the flat disc, just to knock the top off of these. Um, tap worlds. So yeah, I'm gonna go find it. Feel where the um, the metal isn't quite even in a couple of spots, so now I can um, attend to that, plunge it out. All right, I've lost my hammer again. Oh, it's under the metal. One spot right on the edge here. Better. I'll try my best doing this in one hit, but don't like my chances.
I lost vision of the line and yeah, she went right off. Never mind. And I'm going to plenish that out because it sort of pulled this in on the on the edge. So I'll plenish that back flat again because it's got a bit of a peak. It fits. We trim this edge off here, but um, it's nice and snug the whole way around here. And if you come and look at it from the back, this here is nice and snug to the body the whole way around. So that shouldn't give me any grief when I weld it in. So yeah, as I said, I. Uh, haven't made a sharp angle this time like I did on the other side. I should have thought about that before I did it. But, you know, sometimes you just have a lapse. A lapse of concentration. Now this weld, I could spend more time on it and get 100% perfect, but I could spend a day on that. But uh, it's good enough for a little bit of body filler. And it's going to get pulled out of shape again anyway when I weld it in. So now, I'm just going to get the old texture out, the old sharpie, and the trace a line. Like so. And I'm going to pull it back off again. And I'm going to cut just below that line not far below not far below it just a little bit because i don't want to over trim but yeah i am pretty happy with that effort for the day okay especially seeing it's the day was a couple of hours short So it took me about an hour to weld that in. So for the rest of the, I've got about an hour left for the day. So I'm gonna actually um, cut that section out that I need to and see what the damage is underneath because I'm more than likely gonna have to fix some of the, the uh, inner wheel arch. Yeah, so I into it. So now I've just got to take this, these flanges off. Doesn't look quite as bad as the other side, but uh, there, there is a rust hole up here somewhere. Up, oh, they're up there. Yeah, she's a bit rusted out there, so there's going to be a little bit of replacing. But this part here looks good, so it doesn't look like I'm going to have to replace that. Oh, might be a little rust hole there. Maybe just a little repair. Don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm going to get these flanges off. Okay, I got the flanges off. This part here is pretty bloody good. Just a little 
tiny hole there which I'll, um, I'll probably just tack weld that up a little bit under there um, just up here so I'm gonna have to replace it from about here up to about there but that's not bad considering that it was much worse on the outer skin maybe that's why it's not so bad because the outer skin rotted out and let all the moisture out but uh, yeah that's going to save a little bit of time not having to make this part and this part so yeah that's good so what I'm going to do now I've got about half an hour left of the day clean up the mess that it uh, left and then if there's any time left after that I'll start making up the masking tape template to make up this part here not sure that I'll be on it next week because um, I've got to do some work to the falcon coop and uh, yeah I'm not putting any documentation on the XM coop um, for reasons of my own but uh, I will show you when it go, uh, before it rolls out no worries clean up time that's it guys we had a bit of a clean up ran out of time just got this uh, clamped up in spot for now but when I come out Monday I'll um, no next next Monday not this Monday so we're gonna have a week off from the Brona again and uh, when I do come out I'll um, fix the inner rust before I weld this panel on and you know what that's almost the last of the rust just got to um well that I know of do this panel back here the the lower beaver which I'm not looking forward to because it's in a tricky spot and uh, it's a tricky shape but I'll get there and I did see one small bit of rust around here right there and then um, it's time to send it off to get blasted underneath and um, I'm gonna start start putting some epoxy and and body filler on it ready for paint so yeah we we're uh, getting towards the pointy end of the build yes okay guys that's it for me for this week anyway so uh yeah if you'd like to subscribe like maybe leave a comment you know tell me tell me about your build ask me a question whatever i'll get back to you and uh yeah so uh, I'll see you again. Have a good one.